My name is David Troy, and this is the David Troy Salon. In this video, what I'm going to do for you guys is my version of a beehive. Amy Winehouse made the beehive really big uh, when she was on the front of Rolling Stones. So this is just my version of the way I do it. I think this is going to become popular again. I think more people are doing it. I think more people are doing it. I think more people are doing it. Okay, before we start, let's have a look at a couple of the styles that we're going to try and achieve today. I love this look. I think it's going to become more popular again. I love the way Amy Winehouse wore it. I think she really brought it back big time. But let's just jump into it, and I'm going to go through it step by step the way I do it. So I section the hair off from ear to ear, push all that forward, and then I take a triangle section right on the crown, right here. I just separate that completely. One of the most important things about this updo is the actual back combing. A lot of people skip through this section and I advise you not to. You know, it's very important to take real thin sections and when you're back combing, I actually use a little bit of spray in between each section. So for this updo to work, we need the back combing to stay in the hair. So the way I do this is I take diagonal back sections right where that triangle is and back comb it, give it a light spray and then move on to the other side and just alternate all the way down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed this up so you don't actually have to sit here and watch me do the whole thing. <laughs> trick what I do when I get to the very bottom section I back comb it on the top and I leave that section down because we want it to look pretty smooth I don't want it to be too messy so that way we can get a nice clean finish to it okay so once we've got all the back combing in the idea is not to comb the back combing out so we keep all that body in the hair and we just push it over and I crisscross my bobby pins all the way up. So what I'm doing is basically building a foundation. So by crisscrossing my bobby pins up, I'm giving it the support to spray it and keep smoothing it out. So I've used gold pins here so you can see what I mean by crisscrossing them over. A lot of people sort of skip through the foundation of trying to do updos and just try to jump to the middle section of trying to pin it up. It's very important to do every step, otherwise the updo is not going to work. Now don't get confused, this is not a French twist, we're actually going to be doing a beehive. So it's very similar to a French twist at the start, but the look we're going for is a beehive. So what I do is I just twist it around to give it that body. So all I'm doing here is putting a couple of pins in underneath to make sure it holds, to give it that foundation so it does stay up. And look, everyone's got their own way of doing this. This is just the way I do it. Doesn't mean you have to do it this way. It's just the way I found to be quick and fun and end up with a good result. So now remember that triangle section that we left out? So let's just separate that. Now you can back comb this and put it directly over it to give it more of that Amy Winehouse beehive look. But what I tend to do is move it around to the side just to give it a more cleaner finish. Now I don't want it super clean, you know, I still want to achieve a bit of that beehive style but, you know, the idea is just to give it a bit more of a cleaner finish than directly straight up and all we're doing is just pinning that under. Now I've sort of jumped ahead here, now I haven't pinned this, this is actually hold with a sectioning clip at the moment because I'm just trying to get a little bit of product in it because it was really clean so I want to dirty it up a little bit here. That's all I'm doing, as I say, all that's holding this is a sectioning clip but you can start to see the shape that we're going to be going for here. So I'm going to go ahead here and take that sectioning clip out, now we know where we want it to fall you know, there's not enough product in it, so I'm going to pin it where I want it to be. I want that to be a little bit looser, so we just pull that out just a little bit with the fingers and get it to where we want it, and then all we're doing is pinning that in. 
So updos is really such a personal thing, it's just sort of finding where you want it and how you want it to look. You know, in a minute here, I'm going to take this out because I'm not quite 100% happy where it's at. You know, I'm not 100% tucking those under, so I just take that out and move it down a little bit. So now I'm starting to see the shape that I want to see and I'm really happy with the way it's turning out. I don't want it too clean, but I don't want it completely messy either. But I've got to tell you, I'm pretty happy with the way this beehive's turned out. I believe you're going to see more and more of these looks this year. I think it's going to come really popular again. So I hope you benefited from watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and share. And I'll catch you guys next week.